four chefs, three courses, only one chance to win. The challenge, create an unforgettable meal from the mystery items hidden in these baskets before time runs out. Time's up. This is what it's like. Our distinguished panel of chefs will critique their work. Your execution was poor. Did you taste your batter? And one by one, they must face the dreaded chopping block. You have been chopped. Who will win the $10,000 prize? And who will be chopped? Our judges are perennial trendsetter, Chris Santos. What do you think about this combination of ingredients? Pork tenderloin, sea beans, and ginger ale. Fritz just poured ginger ale into the Roboku with, I believe, tomatoes. Oh, that's a no. I believe. Oh. <laughs> um, those tomatoes look so nice. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Time's up. Step away. Chefs, you have arrived at the chopping block. And it's now time to decide which one of you will not move on to the next round. The judges will critique your work based on how inventive were you with pork tenderloin, sea beans, and ginger ale. First thing I'm noticing is I have one piece of pork on my plate and they have two. <laughs> Sorry about that. What happened there? Uh, I think, you know, I really didn't manage the time properly, you know, 20 minutes, but it feels like it was a second, you know. You know, despite the fact that I only got one piece and there's some issues with the way you cut the pepper there, I think what you did with the sea beans is really clever. Um, you really cut through the salinity nicely with that vinegar. Chef Jason, you're up next. I think that your direction was really smart. Um, you know, the herbs, the orange, the red onion, but I just not enough of that stuff. Yeah. It's quite salty. And then there's Chef Cheryl. It appeared to me like you dropped your tongs on the floor and then picked them up and then it just went right back to the pork with them. I did drop the tongs on the floor, but I actually wiped them with my towel. You know? How would you instruct your students to handle that situation? Well, I mean, honestly, I would tell them to drop the tongs, pick up a new set, but... It's a war out there. Yeah. Chefs, as you know, now the judges must pick one of you to eliminate from this competition. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. For David, I really loved the, the ginger ale batter. But yeah, it was a little bit sloppy. It was a little bit haphazard. My, my plate was missing one. I mean, that's, not... that's clock management. And what about Fritz, our chocolatier? Um, you I know, I thought Fritz the curry was a good, great, good move to go. I liked his direction with that. How'd you feel about Cheryl's work? I think the downfall of Cheryl's dish was that uh, liquid sauce that was on the outside of the plate. It wasn't a reduction, that's the problem. And then there was the tongue situation. I, I agree with you that I think it should be second nature for everybody in your profession. If you drop a tool on the floor, it's it stays out. on the floor. So, given all this, can you make the call? I think, I think we so. come to a decision.